These are all my brethren, all my brethren that, that's going through the struggles. You know, that veteran now, he's a father, he's a son, he's a soldier, he's a patriot. Ed Welch is a veteran who has felt the pain of being homeless. It's why he joined U.S. Vets, the largest nonprofit in the nation that serves veterans who are in desperate need of housing or career development. Ed now serves as outreach coordinator. Every day at 8 a.m., he loads his van up with water bottles and hits the road looking for homeless veterans that he can bring into his housing program. How long have you been in this area over here? Five months. Five months. And Marine, what kind of discharge do you receive? Honorable. What? Remember what years you served? 1986 to 1998. Ah. What was the highest rank you achieved? Sergeant first class. Oh. Where have you been sleeping at? Um, well, last night I slept in the bus bed. Really? Yeah. Could you tell me how you experienced homelessness the first time? I'm a, sh I'm a chef by trade. So I cooked for 15 years, and I got laid off. If you was able to get housed tonight until you can get your apartment, would you be willing to go to, go to some place, maybe Man House or U.S. Vets? Would you be oh, okay yeah. with that? Yeah. U.S. Vets Transitional Housing Program in Phoenix can hold 66 people. They can stay there for two years until they get on their feet. A huge relief for this veteran, who's one step closer to getting a roof over his head. Mr. Watch has been, he's been ph phenomenal here, and he's about to get housed pretty soon. Yes, I have. Uh... I've put in for housing and I'm waiting for all the paperwork to go through and once it does, why, hopefully I'll be in soon. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Get my life back again. That's one thing that I don't believe that anybody in America or anywhere in this world should be living on the street. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, <laughs> but we fought for our country, I shouldn't have to come home and fight for, fight for housing. Studies show that the greatest risk factors for homeless veterans are lack of support and social isolation after discharge. That is why Ed remains in the streets, to give some type of lifeline to his fellow soldiers. Since I've been there out there with them, uh, I'm not afraid of them. You know, they, these are all my brethren, all my brethren that, that's going through the struggle. So I'm okay with confronting them, having a conversation with them. It gets heartbreaking sometimes because we may be full to capacity, and when I'm full to capacity, I can't bring them into my program. However, uh, I do network with different places that has, that has openings, so I'm able to assist that veteran in getting housed somewhere else. Our next stop, the place where Ed used to sleep at night. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling euphoric. Euphoric? Yeah. Tell us about what I'm looking at, where we are. Well. This is where they actually found me at. This is our little environment. You know, and there was little camps everywhere. There was a, a camp behind that wall over there. Uh, and it was just everywhere. It used to be, uh, wow, wow. Tell me more about the story from military service to living here. I was in the military for three years in Fort Bragg. During that time when I got to the military, there was a big drug ep epidemic that was going on in Chicago. Eventually, uh, I fell victim to the epidemic. Some guy had found me out here, asked me was I a veteran, and I said, yeah. And next thing you know, uh, a U.S. Vets representative got me, and then brought me into U.S. Vets. And from there, it's history. Ed is among the more than 50,000 veterans who have benefited from housing and services provided by U.S. Vets. U.S. Vets don't even have to pay me. You know, they can keep my check. I would do this forever because this is the place that actually saved my life and has given me the opportunity to give back. Help me understand why experiencing homelessness is so prevalent among veterans. Mental health is a big issue in the veteran community. Um, it's not really diagnosed in the military. Of course, veterans are asked to come in and fight the wars. They go in and do their tours, and when they return home, there's not a lot of services that they're referred to. U.S. Vets can handle any issue that a homeless veteran may have here under one umbrella. You come here, you sign up, you determine eligible, we can cut you a check in two days. One day, we're able to take care of the immediate need of the veteran immediately. Pat Schiller is someone who benefited from that immediate help from U.S. Vets, a recovering drug addict and veteran who used to be homeless. She's now back on her feet and is thriving. So I'm the very first female driver of the year uh, across the nation. Amazing. I am the Beacon's permanent fleet driver, two driver of the month. So I got them back to back, run for 2016 and 2017 for January and March. I'll show you my pass. Come check it out. <laughs> <laughs> <Come on>. ah! <laughs> 
<laughs> You've been passed by a girl, I love that. I was, uh, I was in the Navy from uh, 1996 to 1999, where I was, uh, unfortunately I was kicked out for being a homosexual. So I decided to become an escort, well, that's when uh, I started my prostitution, and I also started my drug addiction. And then that's when I started to become homeless. And much like Ed, she too would find a lifeline. U.S. Vets gave me a chance to have a career. They were like, what do you want to do when you grow up? So I was like, man, I want to be a truck driver. And then I got the job at Beacons and I passed their drug test. I passed their background check. U.S. Vets ensures that more than 5,000 veterans have a place to call home and a network of support to help them build a stable, healthy future. U.S. Vets didn't just save my life, they gave me a life. Before I was fighting for my life on these streets, now I have a life to fight for. This is why Ed fights for his fellow comrades every day, because he too believes we can be doing so much more for our veterans. It was a really impactful day for me, and you know, I think so many Americans could have their eyes opened by what you see every day, and I would love you know, to hear from you what you think is most important for all of us to understand about veterans and, and people in general that are experiencing homelessness. Veterans have this, we have some type of pride about us. We don't want to go and ask for help. And so sometimes when you're having a conversation with them, you just see the pride written all over them. And so sometimes we have to get past that, that pride to let that veteran know that we want to offer you that assistance. You deserve this, what I'm offering you. I just feel like we should always give those guys that's, that's down at the bottom, give them a, a helping hand, lift them up, you know, because if someone helps you up, then that person can help lift somebody else up. I was down, they gave me a hand up, and then now I'm actually working in an organization that saved my life. I'm able to go back out and do the same thing and pay it forward.